Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to Get It Right. I'm T and thank you so much for being here. This is my pre-pre-op day. It's currently Tuesday and I go in for 360 LiPo on Thursday. So this video is kind of like a continuation um, as to how I'm preparing for the surgery coming up, but mostly about the Bajas and items that I purchased to help aid in my recovery. First off, let me say it almost wasn't no surgery. I literally just canceled. Let me tell you something in life, period. If you want to get something done, especially with a company, corporation, business, put it in writing. I mean, it's okay to call and talk to somebody, but if you can't get what you need by verbally requesting it, send an email. Send an email and copy a few people on that email. I guarantee you what's going to get done. I am willing to bet the farm it's going to get done. And that is what happened. So really quick, I had been requesting before and afters from the doctor that I picked since last week. And I talked to about three people on the phone who said they were going to get it done. No problem. Three different times. Nothing. Today, I made the final phone call. I said, look, if I don't get what I'm looking for, because a practice of your magnitude should be able to produce before and afters. And I mean, yeah, my bad for not requesting them when I was there last, the week before last, but I forgot and people forget and their photos. So just send me the photos. I told them if I don't get these photos, I'm canceling. And, and so she was like, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. An hour and a half passes by no photos. So I called, I said, I want to cancel straight up. She's like, no, no, no. I, and so I told her, fine, do what you have to do. But in the meantime, I want your email. I want your manager's email and I want the office email. Just in case I don't get these photos, I'm not calling you back. I've called you guys now five times about this. Okay. Okay. No problem. So after I hung up with her, I sent the email. Basically the email just said, Hey, I've been requesting these photos. I'm not confident that I want to go through with this because y'all ain't sending no photos. Cancel. This is my cancellation notice. Let's just say I got the photos. Like within the hour after sending the email, I got the photos. Finally. And the crazy thing about it is they look great. So I don't know if it was just like a breakdown in communication or they couldn't find. She said it took her a while to find them because she was trying to find my specific people with body types similar to mine. So I got the photos all as well and I'm going through with the procedure. Okay, go back and watch my how I'm physically preparing my body. I will link it here in the cards. Um, There's some vitamins, supplements and things I'm doing to prepare for the actual procedure day. One thing I did not include in that video is that I cut out alcohol, uh, wine, alcohol, anything that has to do with alcohol has completely been cut out. So I did not mention that in that video. I'm probably just cutting out alcohol, period. I probably will only be drinking on special occasions just in life now. Like I'm getting older and things, <laughs> I don't really have a reason to be drinking all like that. It, I used to drink as like a social pastime type thing and now I'm like traveling and doing hobbies as a social pastime thing so I'm not really finding myself drinking having the desire to drink that much anyways. Bajas. What Sanobello does is they provide two Bajas in your quote in your quote for surgery. The first Baja they measure you for um, and they leave an allowance for swelling at your very first consultation appointment. You go home from surgery that day with that Baja on. The second Baja is measured or sized for you at your post-op appointment, which is after surgery appointment, which is about three days to one week out is what I was told. Mine is a little further than that because my availability was kind of weird, 
but they will fit me for the second Faha at that appointment and then mail it. Got it? Got it. So from my previous experience with liposuction and others, I've gathered that I'm probably going to be not as swollen as I expected to be um, before my post-op appointment. And so the reason why I don't think I'll be as swollen is because I've scheduled some lymphatic drainage massages. Um, I do lymphatic drainage massages. So I have a couple of exercises that I'm going to be incorporating. And I also have some tools and drops that I'm going to show you in my next video. Okay. So I'm thinking probably by day five, maybe five through seven, I will be ready to size down out of that Faha. However, I will not have that second Faha from Sano Bello. So this is what I have. What I did was I went in my drawer of tricks, as my husband would call it, and I pulled out some shapewear that I already owned. And this one is one of them. It is not a Faha. It is a shapewear. But I currently cannot fit this one. And so I'm expecting to wear this one um, a couple days after. It's very stretchy. It does have boning in it. And that does concern me a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. Um, the second option that I have also was in my drawer of tricks. It is um, an actual Faha. It does not have boning in it, but I think it's an extra large, but I think it's probably going to be a little bit too big, but we'll see. And what I like about this one is it is like thong style. It zips. And it has the hook closure. So this is an option um, while I'm waiting for that second stage Faha. And then lastly is this corset. This is amazing. I wear it all the time. It literally curves and shapes to my body. The concern for this one on me is that it does have a boning in it and that's I think can disturb your results, can like cause lines and stuff. And also, um, it's short. Even though my torso is short, I'm getting lipo up here. So I don't think it's going to cover me. You know what I'm saying? All the way. And I don't want to have that pooch. So... This may be an option, but I don't know. Maybe a combination of a few of them. We'll see how it goes when I get there. And obviously, I will be making a video about it. And then lastly, this is the tank that I ordered. This is something that was recommended by a lot of people. Um, it is something that you would wear tank, foam, ad board. Faha. That's how it goes. So this is my tank. It is has compression and stretch. Does have boning in it. Um, it has the three hooks. So I'll be able to size this down as needed. And what I really, really like about this one is it is tall. So it will cover my entire back. Can y'all see that? Yeah. So this is, I didn't have this already. I ordered this from Amazon and I will link it below in the description. Next things that I ordered are foam and I just went to Hobby Lobby and I left it in the car. So I don't have it with me, but I'll show it to you in my next video. I went to Hobby Lobby and I just bought a big roll of basic foam. It's like the size of probably like a twin bed. And I'm just going to cut that because that foam gets... Um, flat after wearing it for so long. So I'm just going to cut it to size one big piece that wraps around me every couple of days and throw it away because I'm, I don't want to try to puzzle piece and Tetris piece, them little square ones that they sell on Amazon. 
and the ones that we carry in, you know, like the body contour and shops and stuff. So I bought a big old roll that's like this long and like probably, um, at, it's about this wide and probably like as long as this room from front to back. Um, and I will show you guys that when I get ready to use it. Then I had got, ordered this um, lymphatic drainage um, foam. It helps facilitate lymphatic drainage because it has the like bubbles in it. And then this part is soft. So this will help um, with lymphatic drainage. And it's very soft. It almost has like the texture of like fake skin. So I'll probably put this one in after my lymphatic drainage massages and then last but certainly not least is this lipo curve abdominal board this is going to go behind or the foam is going to go behind it and then this is going to go like this and then baja. so those are the things that I purchased um, for getting ready for my 360 lipo procedure with Sanobello. The next time I see you guys will be uh, for the day of surgery and I will vlog it. Um, stay tuned because I do have some footage of my actual consultation with the doctor. Thank you so much for watching. Like, follow, and subscribe for my 360 lipo journey with Asano Bello. I love you guys so much. Get it right.